Hey, Gemini, welcome in. It's about time you got here. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing great. Welcome in. Welcome in. This is your reading for the final week of September. Let's see what messages want to come through for Gemini. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you like my content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, so you can get notified of any new videos that I might post. All right, let's see where we go for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Gemini. Feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross-watcher, so P.S. Divine Masculine. Yep. <clears throat> Focus. Ah, past life. We'll have to look at that one a little bit deeper. So some of you are going through a cycle where you're having to be very grounded, okay? Um, taking action, but taking action in a strategic kind of way, not just any action is good action. Um, this does have to do with some kind of healing from your past life, all right? So if you find yourself in a kind of a situation where you're feeling boxed in or you're feeling like um, things are very methodical, like I know Gemini, you're kind of digging that a little bit. This is a Sagittarian energy so uh, that's past life, okay? So if you are, especially if you're a North Node in Gemini, uh, if you don't know what that is, you can join my astrology group. But um, North, Node in, North Node in any sign is about your karmic mission and path in this life. And when we hang back in the South Node and we don't go toward the North Node, what we're doing is we're blocking our progress in this life. So if you are hanging back, if you're hanging back in... Um, the south node of whatever node nodal pair you have, uh, what's being asked of you is to really focus on where you're going. What is it that you want to create? What do you want to do next? It's not okay to just hang in the status quo. All right, I'm feeling that. It's not okay to hang in your comfort zone right now, Gemini. You've really got to um, move forward. Divine Masculine can be Mars energy. Um, we do have... Um, North Node in Aries right now, for those of you who follow such things. And that really is about st striking out in an independent way, okay? Uh, doing things that you've always wanted to do, focusing on your progress and not really being bogged down by other people's stuff, okay? Two of Pentacles underneath, the, the cards that are underneath the sun are things you may not see coming or things that are going on um, subconsciously or even unconsciously, the sun, four of pentacles, the empress, there's divine feminine, right? Okay. The seven of cups, the nine of wands, the same patterns over and over again, ace of cups, the wheel of fortune and the king of pentacles. Wow. So if you are interested in finding your mojo here, um, it's not enough where you are. I feel like some of you kind of are settling for not a lot of financial gain for a lot of work. All right. Some of you might be feeling like, well, this is good enough. Okay. I'm getting the phrase. This is good enough. Um, it's a comfort zone thing. And to choose something new might be scary or might be putting myself out there. I feel like that's what's being asked of you. I also feel like you have come to the end of this cycle when it's okay to just do what I've always done and get what I've always got. Because what's firing up in you, there's Leo and Jupiter energy here with um, with the Wheel of Fortune, that's Sagittarian energy, Jupiter rulership. And Jupiter is in retrograde right now in Taurus. And Taurus is about our money. Taurus is about our worth and our value. If we're kind of sitting in what we have always gotten, I think that's not going to be satisfying anymore. And I also think that you're going to finally be like, why am I doing this? Why am I settling for less? Why am I settling for less when you could expand? All right. When you could really expand. What's coming up in the reading here that's conscious, the three of pentacles, the judgment card, the hermit, the six of cups, the tower, 
the Knight of Wands, the Magician. There you are. Magician, the Star, and wow, and the Hier Hierophant. Okay, so here's Taurus. I have Taurus and Virgo. I have Sag. Okay, I have Sag. I have you, Gemini. I have Aquarius. So Aquarius is about innovation. And Aquarius, it's time to make the choice, maybe even to partner uh, with somebody new or maybe go in a new direction. I feel like there might be some kind of breakup with a Sagittarius or your Sagittarian energy. Gemini and Sag are partners. And Sagittarius is about this focus energy. It is about looking forward. It is about dynamic action. And if you are um, very happy to stay in the details of Gemini instead of look at the bigger picture of Sagittarius, I feel like that might be something that you get shoved out of very quickly. It's not okay just to focus on the details. You've got to focus on the big picture right now. Okay. So three of pentacles is about a partnership. It is about, uh, you know, you putting in effort with another person can be a, a Virgo. All right. It can be uh, another a Virgo and Gemini. You're both ruled by Mercury and you have a lot in common in terms of details. So I'm not sure. I mean, this is the this is the hermit, though. The hermit is uh, somebody who uh, is a teacher, is a guide. Right. It's like it's like um, a shaman or it's like Gandalf. OK, there's definitely somebody who is showing you the direction. This is the this is the crossroads. This is the crossroads. I feel like you're getting you're getting shoved out of your comfort zone. This past life thing. I'm, I, I'll read that to you in the extended. But the past life piece really says to me that whatever has worked up until now is not going to continue working. So um, comfort zone needs to get shoved. Mm, OK, a little bit of hip check there. The tower. Please clarify the tower for me. Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords, King of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. I feel like some of you are asking for help to go in a new direction. Some of you may be recognizing that you do need a leg up or you need a new, a new path. Uh, I feel like uh, you might not have passion right now for something, and that's what's holding you back. It's like, well, I just want to go in this new direction. I'm not really sure... I'm not really sure what it looks like, but I know that I can't stay here. Okay. Cause tower is blowing things up. The tower is, um, a situation where you might need financial help. Uh, you might need, you need more, you need more, you need the capability to expand your financial opportunities. So either you're with a Sagittarius and you're expanding and healing this, right? Maybe together, or you're integrating your own, um, Sag and uh, Gemini energies, and you are healing it for yourself, right? You're healing this this um, this kind of Taurus experience, which is Taurus is ruled by Venus, and so Venus says, "What makes me feel comfortable?" That's what this is, right? That's what this Empress is. What makes me feel comfortable? But um, that tower is going to make you go. This ain't comfortable anymore. Because I think you're seeing the big picture and I think you're going to have to take action on that big picture right now. Why is the six of cups here? Page of wands, the death card, four of cups, two of swords. We can't stand still. We can't stand still. And I, I, I really see that there's, it's like, um, it's like, it's not a choice anymore. So if you're dealing with a partner, if you're dealing with somebody, uh, could be a, another Gemini, could be an Aquarius, could be a Taurus, could be a Sag, could be a Virgo. All right. I do see um, more Sag up here. I see more Taurus. I see Libra. I see Leo. There's a lot here. So it just, as Scorpio, so it just does make me feel like the stagnation is over. This is blowing apart the stagnation. That's great. Okay. That's great. For the innovation piece, three of cups, queen of pentacles, the temperance energy, more Sag energy, and the three of swords. Some of you may part ways with someone who's going to be doing things that are going to be different than what you want to do. I think what's coming to a head here is 
do I want to do the thing that my partner wants me to do or which is stand still? Some of you are dealing with a partner who wants to stand still. Some of you are dealing with a partner who wants to go, woo, who do do something really uh, massively different. And neither one of those things seems right for you. Uh, I feel like you have um, an opportunity here to heal from this change. Let me see if I can get this. There is an ending here. There definitely is an ending. It shows up because of this crossroads, because, you know, whether it's a love partner or it's a friend or it's a, I don't know, a family member or somebody you're working with, you guys have different ideas about what needs to happen. Whether you want to stay in a comfort zone or you don't, either way, the other person is kind of opposing, okay? Kind of wanting to stay in the comfort zone or feeling like that's the way to do it is to stay doing the same thing. Now, the hermit here, the hermit here, page of pentacles, the fool, and the seven of swords and the seven of pentacles. So the hermit is saying... It has to be something new. It has to be something brand new. So even if this person that you're with wants to do something new, it may not be the new thing that you want to do. Okay. It may not be the direction that you want to go in. And I feel like there's a sense of like the traditional versus the non-traditional here. What is the choice? Am I going to go towards something more traditional or am I going to go really innovative and really makes a lot of change either way? there's some kind of breakup here. Okay. There's some kind of breakup. So the Knight of wands moving forward, break up in terms of like, I feel like this has to do with past life. That the lesson that's coming through here is a past life. Like you have to strike out on your own or something like that. You have to go in a direction that's going to be for you. Two of cups, page of cups, yeah, Ten of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, 100%. So it does feel to me, Gemini, like you might need to um, unhook your, your wagon from this horse and find another horse. You might have to be the horse and, you know, be the leader and move on. Um, there's a lot happening here, but I, uh, the biggest thing I see is that tower right in the middle, that there's not a... There's not a path forward for this connection, mostly because it is going to keep you in the energy, even if it is about doing something different, it's going to keep you in the energy of doing the same thing. So let me give you an example. Let's say you have a partner that wants to do something so drastically different that you're just not in alignment with it at all. So you decide to do something different, but it's the same thing that you're doing now. OK, with a different person or with a different company or something like that, like your job is to find the same job. Your job is to find the same thing. If that to you feels really like that's not going to work for me, then doing something different is going to push you forward. But it's not with this same partner. Either way, it's different. Either way, it's different. So what is this past life about? Talk to me more about the past life because judgment there, judgment and the six of cups, that is past life. Five of pentacles. Ah, your self-worth. Two of wands. Six of swords. Yup. Lovers, there's your card. So you're making some decisions here to move away from whatever it is that's going to keep you in um, a scarcity mentality, whatever it is, it can't be, it can't be static. All right. So we're going to dive deeper into this and we'll see where we go. There is an ending here. I'll go deeper into that. There's a link below Gemini. If you want to continue on with me, I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.